Hello you, welcome back. Hi. I'm Dan, it's Sunday night, and I'm here with Robin again. Hi, it's me, I am also Robin. Wait. No, no, there's only one. I'm, I'm, I'm there's an... You're Dan. Yes. I'm Robin. Yes. This is Dark Souls. Dan Close Dark Souls now, now. Now. Oh. I mean, to be fair, I am about to throw myself into a dangerous situation and get hurt, so... <laughs> that's, that's not an unfair thing. Just bounce off some rocks on the way down. Did you say throw myself directly off the tallest thing I can find? Because here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, Dark Souls 2. That's a bit tall. Ah. <coughs> so. <laughs> 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 Having narrowly avoided getting brutalized by the first enemy we saw. Um, if you remember last time we were here, um, I find, found myself grinding against a boss for quite a long time. The uh, the pursuer, I think his name was. He had a lovely design and a very mean attitude. So he's a tough I'm, dude. He's a he's a real tough guy. He's lovely, but he's tough. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is before we go back and get ourselves messed up again, I'm going to explore some areas we didn't quite see. So first of the oh that's a firebomb. First of those is there's a giant area down here we never explored. I just sort of ran past it up to the bonfire. So let's clear that out first. Also, I'm going to kill these guys because I don't like them. Also, in the last video, you killed the last giant. I uh, did. Which means, which means that you've now got the key from killing the last giant. I did, I did it. The last giant's last key ever. Please hold on to this one. That may not actually be what it's called. I'm going to go check. If if you've told me a lie, I'm I'm not going to be happy. I'm the, so. I may have been the last giant, but I'm the first liar. I'm not sure what that means. I'll be honest, Robin. You are far from the first liar in Dark Souls. <laughs> this game has a long and storied history of fuckers trying to ruin you. That's a good point. I See, I'm, I'm just being in character, you know? Oh, I love a little bit of roleplay this time of the evening. Yeah. Oh, roleplay because it's Dark Souls, I see. Don't get it. So, this mm. is the bit we never went to last time. This area down yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. I'm just going to throw myself in. I'm not going to say it was unwise to run past it all on your first way out. Um, because killing that last giant's pretty good fun. I mean, it was a nice time. Yeah, but this bit's full of horrible lads. All I really did was jab at his feet a bit. Oh, speaking of horrible lads, there's one. Mm. Now that was rude. Interrupts me on a ladder. Now that I've cleared out the least horrible of all the large lads. Also, I never noticed last time the last giant was... Uh, I saw, oh, getting shot by arrows. Um, similar to that cool tree we found. And th what's the area that we're in called? Cool tree zone. Cool tree it's, zone act one. <laughs> yes. It's the forest of dead messed up giants or something. Forest of fallen giants, yeah. yeah. And then the last giant looked like one of the trees. Uh, oh. Which is actually pretty good environmental storytelling like so i thought maybe that tree was one of the giants was that well, the case well <laughs> so, robin please imagine me sitting down crossing my arms what are the implications on this for the law <laughs> let me tell you buddy they are staggering <laughs> this is rapidly becoming my favorite joke <laughs> they made that jump a bit easier uh, between the two rafters. Normally there's um, a person on the other side that throws knives at you, which is oh. an absolute fucker. Because I thought you were going to say like a knives. shark that jumped up as you as you went over. <laughs> I mean, it's got the same effect eventually. Hi everyone, um, by the way. Sorry, I've, I've been concentrating again. Hi, I hope you're all very well. Yeah, hope, hope today is finding you nicely. Um, I hope you've you had the best past Sunday a... all this week. Yeah. You walked past a cave down there. Um, there is a I'm friend going, in there. I'm going, I'm okay. going. I still but also, want to mess clearing out this family. area. Yeah, clearing out this area is a good call. Oh, can't get back up though. Looks like we're doing a lap. Yep. Oh well. That was, that was your victory lap. This is your serious fun time lap now. That's how it works. In uh, the world of Drang Lake. Thank you, by the way. I was a little confused about which world we're in. Was Lord Ram the one from the first game? Waldran's one in the first game, yeah. Okay, I also named my Animal Crossing town Waldran and then tried to give my character a helmet and uh, Soler's armour. It kind of worked. Oh, 
that's cute and also maybe a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Apparently, the two fellas who were beaten up on our cool tree friend were added for Scholar of the First Sin. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if they've changed uh, much about this area, much more about this area in Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, they added some some collections of guys. Yeah, that's true. There have been Ooh. crowds, I guess we could call them. But yeah, there's a lot of just stuff and bits in this area. Bits and thingies. Bits and thingies, yeah. I mean, I think you need a good bits and thingies area as an introduction, you know? You can't go straight exactly. for giant guys or anything. Although, Scholar of the First Sin did try to. It did go a little bit straight for the big guys early on, didn't it? <laughs> oh well. I like that people are um, talking about Scholar of the First Sin's balance. I don't want to have an opinion on that since I'm going in completely blind and haven't seen the first game, but there have been moments even now where I've wondered. Yeah. Like, it. <sighs> but we shall persevere. I guess unnecessary? I hear a thing. I st oh. Oh. Is there more of the thing? I. If I'm. If memory serves, there's only one yeah. of the things. I just don't want to get hit with a thing. I'm pretty sure there's just one thing. What happens if I go and look where the thing lives? Hey, you'll probably find ah, where the thing's gone. I see. A hole. A really big hole. We'll investigate uh, that try later. Throwing, try mm -hmm. throwing something down it. Like, try throwing one of those prison stones down it. What, you mean one of those things I don't have? Well, I mean... I th no, I'm pretty sure you've actually picked them up already. I don't think I have at all. Oh, in that case, I'm talking straight out of my arse. It was nice of your arse to chime in though, Robin. I think I remember seeing them for sale for, uh, from the Undead Merchant, at least. That Ooh. might have been why I got confused. Hello, you. Is this our friend? He's our friend. I mean, he says he's like ourself, but I've never scrabbled around on the ground. Is that how you do he's traveling? Trying to find a... Yeah. He... This is exactly what traveling's about. I've been traveling all wrong. <clears throat> he's navigating the continent to create a map. That's what he's doing. He's just scrabbling around in the dirt to try and find a map. This is going to be talking? a really detailed map. <laughs> You'd hope so. Or just a really rudimentary one. Uh, keep talking to him and he'll eventually give you something because it, Dark Souls 2 right. is like, I know how Dark up. Souls works. You've got to exhaust all the dialogue. Yeah. Just it's keep not even twice in this game. It's like three times. Yeah. Yeah. He does love a map. I came to this land some time ago. Thinking about maps. Wait, so did this guy push the boulder down at me? I'm not sure about that is the thing. Maybe. This is absolutely definitely where the boulder came from. It is absolutely definitely where Bolder came from. There's no hollows up here or anything, is there? Oh, he's the one who lives in the big house. He lives in the big house, yeah. He gave See, you that... the key. He gave you the deed to his property. That was the other place where I realised we haven't been. The big house in yes. the jeweller. But that's because we literally couldn't go in. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because... He... <laughs> the door I was never locked. tried. <laughs> no, if, if you could, then I would have said, Hey, hey Danny. Go have a look in the house. There's a oh, apparently there's there. oh. <laughs> So it's just a naughty undead. That happens in these games more than it really should do. Just like enemies trying to interact with traps and push the boulders down to you or something and then just managing to get themselves caught up in the mechanism, I guess. I, I really appreciate that, though. It's, it's like, kind of funny. It's I appreciate the mechanism. Like Dark Souls is one of the games where... They think about the mechanisms of the world a little bit more. Yes. So, like, if, if there's never just boulders flying down for no reason, the boulders always come from some, obviously. Sen's Fortress is the main example of that. But mm. the world is fleshed out in that everything makes some degree of sense. If you find a trap shooting arrows, it, it will be controlled by somewhere. Yeah. Um, it, there are, I can't think of what... Like, I guess it's a bit castlevania -y. The world is realised in a way that it kind of ticks along on its own. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, and 
I think Castlevania probably was a huge inspiration for the Dark Souls games. I think um, that's probably a fair point. Yeah. I'm not going to rustle any feathers by saying that, possibly. Uh, when he says, do not venture deep into the mountain, mansion, I mean, you should absolutely venture deep into the mansion. Yeah, it's don't worry, I had already ignored him immediately after he said it. <laughs> wow, I found a knife and some herbs. I suppose the key was the main attraction there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I meant to mention, um, since last time, where, if you remember, I was having a little bit of trouble with groups of lads in combat, I've been receiving a few combat tips from friend of the show... Every, uh, that term is meaningless <laughs> now. Pretty much everyone is a friend of the show. Everyone here is a friend of the show, at least everyone watching as well. Basically, If you want hi, to be a friend I of the you. show, you're our friend of the show. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'll be sending out certificates for friends of the show soon. <laughs> um, I uh, received a few tips from a friend of the show in general Dark Souls smarty pants, Dectalon. Um, and it turns out, I think they did say... That... You're right. Yeah. That was a cool oh. trick. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, I think last stream... The, oh, this door opens too. Uh, yeah. They were, they were trying to tell me that uh, if you dual hand weapons, it will sort of... Yeah, yeah, oh, I forgot about you. Um, <laughs> I got Dark Souls by a sleeping fella. Um, Speaking of Dark Souls, you might need to get a flaming torch with this bit. Because it's dark. I already have a flaming torch, Rob, and it's in my backpack. Well, you need to light it then. Um, yes. I'm actually going up to the bonfire just because I have some business to attend to. I don't know if you noticed. It? I've got a lot of souls. Um, is it your your homeowner business now? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, Kicking back and sitting pretty have... with your evil pigs. Oh, sorry. Hey, the evil pigs are just misunderstood. Um, <laughs> if you dual hand weapons, you can break enemies' guard to some degree, so your shield, your your sword won't bounce off of enemies' weapons. Um, That's pretty good. Enemy shields, rather. So it means that if you're trying to chop away a big group of lads down spoons, much as we were, if there's mm -hmm. an enemy with their shield up, your attack won't be immediately bounced off. So that's all right. That's that's brilliant news for me. Mm. Um, and that's why I have switched from one-handing this fiery, spicy sword we found last time to two-handing it. Nice. Um, it does mean I won't have a sword, so we may end up changing back and forth. Uh, shield, rather. So we may end up changing back and forth. But for the time being, I think this might sort of smooth my time with the game a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of what happened with me a lot uh, in, well, basically in both Souls games. That I would just uh, switch between uh, dual and single-handed, whether, like, depending on which animations I wanted, really. Uh, which I think is kind of the progen progenitor that's not the right word the precursor to um <laughs> i mean they're not that's... that different but that was uh, the precursor is the best word uh it was the precursor to having uh like the transforming weapons from blood um, in bloodborne you know yeah but that like fed it much more into the combo and that you could actually transform as an attack as well honestly the my single favorite part about bloodborne was the transforming weapons that was basically the coolest thing and yeah it's sort of it's partially because i never really investigated it enough that i never knew about like two-handed weapons and stuff um in dark souls actually changing up the way weapons were used oh yeah but again to go back to castlevania the whip that turns into a <laughs> sword is the coolest weapon yeah that, coolest. it's pretty cool it's pretty cool right um so what I'm doing now, by the way, is I'm quite taken with this spicy longsword we found. Uh, and yeah. another thing Dectalon told me is that you should start upgrading your weapons as soon as possible in this game. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to blow everything I've got. <laughs> Getting all the insider info. But uh, that's increased my attack by, I think it was about 30 to 40 in the end. I didn't really look too hard at the numbers. So that's going to be significant. Mm, absolutely. I, I reckon I could I could pursue that guy a little harder now. <laughs> Turning it on its head, flipping the script on. Just staring off into the distance. Don't know what she's looking at. Oh, yes. Um, I as for, as with a friend of the show status, I will be sending out cookies as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. 
Just give us your home address and uh, you bank card details. You cannot say that. On, give us can't. the three digit uh, security code in the back of your card, please. You can't say that. What? Tw Twitch is going to be in here in a minute. <sighs> Fine. I don't know what I'm leveling up. So, Danny, what's your card expiration date? I'm glad you are, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm. I did consider actually saying it as a joke, but I'm not going to. I could probably have made up one, couldn't I? Yeah. Mm. What's the funny date? Mm. I'm not going to go with the obvious one. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't know what, like, what I should be going for in terms of stats. Um, I mean, I don't expect you'll be using this sword for the whole game. Well, no, of course. But also. Like, strength and dexterity are always good. What I. Um... Raising HP and stamina are good to a point. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I, would, I was going to do HP and stamina anyway, just as a sort of, well, these will do. But it's nice to know that, you know. These you can never actually... have too much of them. Yeah. yeah. You can never have too much blood. I know it's a different game, but also, I'm fairly sure that the knights in this game have a lot of blood as well. That message is having a time. Um, I mean, that's true, but I do wor I do worry a little bit about having too much blood, just in general. Eat less red meat. Uh, you know that. You know that when you eat meat, you don't absorb the blood in it into your <laughs> own blood. That's a good point. Oh, you didn't go to the um, to the mansion. That's true. I actually came here because I wanted to spend the remainder of these souls with our nice merchant friend. All right, so uh, we can have a look around the other bit where it's all dark and solely. Oh, um, I feel like I want to finish like finish off Majula. I clearly am not going to, but <laughs> I'd like to go there. Um, well, I'm saying we can finish off the bit downstairs. Oh, uh, I've got no more. Behind the, behind the locked door. Then. 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 Go back to Majula and have a look around. I guess. Now I have to remember where that locked door was. Oh dear. I think uh, apparently blood just weapons are very good against everything. We did find that right. giant hammer before, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you know what you're spending your, uh, your souls on at this point. No. What am I spending them on? You're using a giant hammer skill. I don't wanna. <sighs> I wanna use a cool sword and be beautiful. Fine. You can use a cool hammer and be beautiful as well. Hammer's Speaking of which, cool. 100 Generations announced for the West. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Hey! Just spin up the marketing machine. God, I wish. Wow, you're cutting through these dudes yeah. like it's the hot new thing. I'm cutting through them like I've reduced my swipes to kill them from three to two. Nice. That isn't a very. That isn't a very pretty analogy. It was is about it? as catchy as the one I said. I need something to light my torch. Oh yeah, you got to use the bonfire. Oh, there's not any fire here. No. Ah, oh, blimey. Can I use a fire bomb on my torch? <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> if I start a small fire around myself, that's basically it, right? It's like lighting your cigar with a gunshot and that like you probably it's really shouldn't cool. but it's really cool oh I have 12 minutes well 13 minutes of torch left that's pretty good this that should be enough time oh I've just realised I'm not dual handing this weapon anymore no oh, but now you look cool Trixie yeah um, if you use the torch uh, on one of the pyres that you see in the environment you can light your torch on that in the future I uh, have been trying to do it on the torches I've walked past. I've already got one of them. Um, ah. I just... Because that way you can dual hand and then reread them. Try exactly. an ally. Oh, okay. Um, so, chances are... Ah, Skellingtons! <laughs> chances ah. are, when you get down here, you're going to want to dual hand on oh, account God. of some... Yeah, I, some I'm definitely strong am. boys. Oh, wow. The strong boys live in the dark, though. Yep. Are there always skeletons down here? I don't know. I've never I been. Don't, don't, that's a good point. I don't, don't remember if there are always skeletons down here. I was a little surprised by the skeletons. Mm. 
Me too. Thank goodness I lit this torch. So when you run out of torch, what happens? You just can't use torch. How do you get more torch? Oh, you find them in like chests and things. Uh, but can you buy more torch? Probably. I think the merchant lady might sell some more. Um, it was never a problem for me playing through. Uh, I feel like I could very maybe easily burn through twelve minutes of torch. Yeah, I think it could have just been the case that like. Did, did you like my choice of words? I said. Was, I said. It was, it was burn good. through a torch. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Robin. Nice. nice. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, they might have reduced the number of torches in Scholar. Ah! Which makes sense. Also, there are some enemies that do drop them as well. Thank you, Dectalon. Oh, well, that's fine then. If there are enemies that drop them, I'm not too worried. Yeah. Oh, well, these skeletons are not as scary as you'd expect a skeleton to be. Well, no, I, not really. That said, that was a cool running animation it had. There used to be turtles down here. Oh, well, I've fought so many turtles by now. Mm. I'm not. Well, I was going to say I'm not scared of turtles, but if you sent two at once, I might be. Oh, I found a torch. How convenient. <laughs> the next boss fight. Three turtles. <laughs> hmm. That sounds like Dark Souls 2 boss design. Try attacking. Okay. Okay, my plan through here, Robin, is I'm going to attack them. Oh, don't. All right. Dr. Lund, please don't say not scared of turtles, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now you're actively wanting to punish me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, someone ended the game with an hour of torch, so I think we'll put. Ah, yeah. I, think I we'll like this area fine. that you just walked into and then walked out of. This area's just got a giant bloody hole in the middle. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? What was um, the area in Dark Souls One that had the giant bloody hole in the middle like this? It was like, like at the top of Blight Town, I think. Blight Town was mostly holes. Oh, um. There was dragons. The Valley of Drakes. Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm not saying anything about Drake. I'm not. I'm not stooping that low. <laughs> I don't think even I'm going to stoop that low. Mm. <laughs> I don't mean that to be such a derisory. Mm. <laughs> this looks very destroyable. It might be. I was going to throw. Actually, I can't tell if they're like explodey ones or not. Um, I think that the gunpowder barrels Oops. are black as opposed to the brown grey that most barrels are. You can tell by rolling through it though. Yeah, I just rolled through it to test. I didn't get any uh, any gunpowder down my trousers, so it's fine. There you go, yeah. If you see um, black dust uh, coming off of it, then you know you probably shouldn't hit it with your sword. If, it, if, you, if you're using the spicy sword, proviso. I'm always using the spicy sword. Well, there you go then. The increase of damage did not really affect this turtle very much. Ah. Actually, there is a reason for that. Turtles are pretty okay with eating fire. Ah, okay. That's true in real life as well. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't know. I am um, somewhat of a turtle oh, expert. I thought we were going to say somewhat of a mad scientist. <laughs> no. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I could get over to that fellow who's causing trouble. Is that a jump? I could... Oh, there's a ladder. It is a jump, but there's also a path. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll loop around. So I don't... If he hits me with an arrow when I'm mid-jump, will I plummet like a sad little stone? Yes. Oh. I you look straight into the myself. camera and look down, then look up and go, well, and then fall. But you can go upstairs in this building, though. That, that I found familiar. out where he lives. Yeah. Oh, Armour Dennis is here. Armour Dennis? Armour Dennis is here. Armour Dennis? <laughs> Someone has called themselves Armour Dennis. It... Armour Dennis? Someone's called themselves I'm, Armour I'm Dennis. Hoping that's a, I'm hoping that's an NPC invader. Because Dennis, of all <laughs> My Dark Souls name is Dennis. <laughs> Time to switch to the life gems, I think. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've angered a turtle by existing. Yeah, I think this person might be an NPC, because they're acting in a very NPC way. Ah. All the oh, turtles oh. in the world are angry. <laughs> you know when I joked about multiple turtles before? <laughs> I 
don't know how I did this. Oh no. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have oh, I wait. done, Robin? <laughs> so many lads. What have so I many done? Tentiles. Oh. The spells look really cool in this one, I'll be honest. Yeah, no, they, they really do. The graphical upgrade, I assume, rather helped this game. Mm. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'll be honest with you. Don't know how Kill I'm getting out of this Armourer one. Dennis. Well, I'd love to, but I'm in a bit of a spicy situation. Yeah, it's true. It's a lot of turtles. <laughs> it's just many turtles. Oh, that's like a spread. Oh, wow, that spells bad news. Is it the big sword one? No, he sort of did a spray on the ground. Oh, okay. That's kind of like that pyromancy one, but Oh, that pyromancy magic. one that I don't remember. Ah! <laughs> Sorry! Unbelievable. Oh, okay. That Wow, that big sword is real bad news. Oh, there's a treasure chest up here. This will all be worth it. Get out of oh, here, Armour Dennis. I believe the treasure chest contains the armor that I used for pretty much the entirety of the game. Ooh. Not because it was good, but because it was stylish. Okay, I am. There's no way I'm losing this fight then. <laughs> I won't let myself. Come here, Dennis. You're a turtle. You're not Dennis. Uh, somebody in the chat has informed us that this is an NPC invader. They always show up. But I'm choosing to believe that it's actually Someone an imposter. Somebody oh. decided to name their character Armourer Dennis. <laughs> oh! You... Armourer Dennis shot a fireball from behind a turtle. Oh. That was some cheap shit. Bloody Armourer Dennis. Yeah, that was some cheap shit. Fuck you, Armourer Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> so... Have I missed my chance to beat Armour Dennis then? Um, do NPC invaders come back? Yeah, they will do. Um, oh, okay. But you might need to be unhollowed. Probably, yeah. So what I reckon is kill all the turtles first, then reverse hollowing. Then oh, you would reckon that. Yeah, I would reckon that. That's so cheaty. I, I'll be honest with you. Not sure I triggered those three turtles, but I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Armour Dennis won't come back. What? They come back until you... Oh, okay. Oh, no, sorry, okay. I was I was misreading. Armour Dennis won't not come back. Oh, hollowing doesn't matter either. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, I remember. You can get invaded when you're when you're hollowed in this game. I didn't think that was going to be the case for every single uh, NPC invader, but apparently it is. This area looks a lot nicer with all the lights turned on. It really does, doesn't it? Mm. Also, that skeleton really hated that torch. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I really, really like how the skeletons uh, die. The way they just fall in on themselves like a sad flan. It's good. It's oh, good. It's really pretty. This game what was doesn't. That? Oops, sorry. sorry. I was going to hey. say, this game doesn't look significantly better than like Dark Souls 1, but the animations and stuff are so much better. I think the lighting oh. helps this a lot. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to say, do you remember that game that came out a few months ago, where like um, also the enemies in it look like Ray Harryhausen style uh, prop, like stop motion animated, so that's um, like big enemies or, or skeletons would be like half the frame rate of regular people, and then there'd be other enemies that were just people in suits. You can see their trainers poking out from beneath. I'll be honest, I do not remember what game that was. Uh, it was. Such a cute idea, and it was executed so well as well. I think it was by the uh, Xeno Clash people. Oh, um, was that the the? It was like a, a twin stick shooter where you're in a B movie or something. Yes. It, that's a really lovely idea, but it didn't look particularly fun to play. No. <laughs> um, the Deadly Tower of Monsters. That's the one. I, mm. One game I do like that realizes a world like that very, very well. Um, you know, Tear Away by Media Molecule. Oh yeah, absolutely. So that game, for those of you who don't know, which is most of the video game public, um, was a game where it's it's set in a paper craft world. Um, like the, the idea is literally everything is made of paper, um, 
And the whole world just responds so well. Everything crinkles up and like sways in the wind as though it was... It's a I really, really liked... hard thing to actually pinpoint. It just genuinely looks like it's made of paper rather than it's trying to look like it's made yeah, of paper. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the best moments for me was um, uh, when there's the... There are some things on the screen that you have to uh, push your fingers through. And... Like, you do that by tapping on the back of the touchscreen, uh, on the back touchscreen on the Vita, and you actually, like, push your fingers through some paper in the game, and it looks fairly impressive. Uh, the other thing about... Oh, the turtle guys spawn when you come through here, okay. Um, the other thing about Tearaway was that it was one of the few Vita games that really tried to use all the features of the Vita. So, like Robert yeah. says, the back to... Whoa, that turtle just destroyed the house! Um... <laughs> Uh, like it actually tried to use all the features of the Vita, including like the back touchscreen, and it did that in ways where you were di like interacting directly with the environment, and it was just super charming. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Armor Dennis always comes at the same time as the Armor Turtles. Right. That's, that's actually so a, that's some real shit by the game, actually. <laughs> wow. Oh, I got I got caught. I'm oh, no. probably going down like a sack of sack potatoes. No. Everything is sad. Don't you do it, Dennis! Don't think about it, Dennis. Don't even... Don't you, Dennis! I see what everyone means when they, earlier when they say, Oh, you're not scared of turtles anymore. <laughs> 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 you bloody rotters! <laughs> Leave me alone, Dennis! I, wa I want to beat your turtles first. Whoop! Whoop! Oh. Hey, that hit me clean through a wall. Magic's awful. Magic's rubbish. Magic's for cheaters. I wish I had some magic. This this space is awful. Yeah. Oh dear. I uh, should really have been running in a circle. I've got myself in some bad times. Have you, you haven't fallen off a cliff, have you? Uh, no, but I have backed into a place I didn't really want to back into. Ah, right. Oh, I see. Yeah, I sh I've completely yeah. run the wrong direction. Mm. So it looks like I'm fighting them in the uh, the Skellington Cave. Also, the that's Skellington not... Cave is my favourite ride at Alton Towers. Um, think about it, that's not the worst place you could be. It's not the best place I could be. That's true, but you, you don't have to worry about falling off a big cliff. Ah, oh, that's true. Oh, I was trying to parry armour of Dennis. Oh. Still might. It probably could work. I dislike Dennis. He sucks. Oh, he, he pumped me. <laughs> um, magic in this game uh, absolutely is a lot more anime than it was in the first game. I've noticed! Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a cousin named Dennis. He's not an armorer, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hello to your cousin Dennis. <laughs> hello to cousin Dennis. Hello, cousin Dennis. Oh, dear me. Right, let's go try that again. Oh, yeah. Um, apparently, don't run up those stairs where there's the tr uh, treasure chest with the nice clothes. Yeah, I, I noticed armor Dennis came as soon as I got out of that house. So I need to spawn those three turtles first, and then... When they're out of the way, we can deal with Dennis on his own. Just keep backing up, yeah. We can have it out. But, oh, we can have it out. Me and Dennis on our own. Mhm. Mm and then we'll see who's really the armorer here. It's Dennis. It's Dennis. Oh, thanks, Dectalon. I'm, <laughs> I'm only doing this because I'm scared of the pursuer. <laughs> And Robin said I had to do here before he went to the house of Medulla. Um, I guess I did, didn't I? You, you did say that. I literally did. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> I can't tell it's if I got half hit. Half my fault. Half it's Dennis's fault. Everything is Dennis's fault. I Bloody Dennis. I'm absolving your responsibility entirely in favour of Dennis. <laughs> but only because he's a rotter. Sorry, I should, I, I should note, Rotter is, an, is a British word for Dennis's. 
If you know somebody who acts like Armour Dennis, not oh, like K Price's cousin Dennis. <laughs> yeah, no, K Price's cousin Dennis is the good Dennis. We like that Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> What's it's like a goofus on? and gallant situation, but it's just Dennis and Dennis. Yeah, it's Armour Dennis and just regular Dennis. Yeah, I'm I'm to be honest, I'm not that I'm not that scared of the pursuer really. I'm just I just like exploring. Mm. If I do end up having too much trouble here, we will go back and uh, figure that part out. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm getting quite a lot of souls from this. That's true, yeah. I think it might be the turtles. Possibly. The skeletons don't seem too tough. No, the skeletons don't really give you a lot. Yeah, I. in the first game when I went through, I, as I gather pretty much everyone else did, had a bit of pyromancy. So, like, some of the spells in that game were super useful and cool. But, yeah. Because I never went cleric or anything, I never really had a chance to use them properly. I was hoping... is basically free, so... Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't have to invest stats in it to be able to get some use out of it. And I was wondering if in this game there's any magic you can use without having to do with huge investment either. I guess pyromancies. Is pyromancy still in? Yeah. You don't, oh, I don't think you get it until a bit later. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, I, got, I got dinged. Dinged by a turtle. Um, there are hexes, but they need you to use both intelligence and faith. Oh dear. Uh, that doesn't make sense for a hex. A hex is a very witchy thing, isn't it? Uh, why, would need, why would you need faith for a hex? Because it uses uh, whichever whichever your stats is the lowest, and says that is like it scales off that. So you need to. Oh, so be our, our both faith, at the same time. Our int and faith yeah. typically the lowest stats then. Well, no, like, it scales... Okay, I mean, when it scales off um, out of the, those two, Int and Faith, it scales off which one is the... Oh, sorry, I see. But there is another kind of ember you can get. Turtles? That is kind of what you're describing. Tur Not the turtle. Oh, the turtle they come ember. down from there. The turtles were hanging out on the roof. Cheeky turtles. So that's what would happen if I'd have gone up that ladder before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you go the ladder? Because there was a fella shooting. That's and then true. I went round the corner, took care of him, and then the whole Dennis situation started happening. The Dennis situation. That's uh, that's what I would currently describe this as. Oh, wow. Calm down, you silly turtle. I asked him to come indoors and he starts wrecking all the stuff. That's, that's a very good point. Witches do have faith, just not in the typical way. You're yeah. absolutely right. Hey, 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 turtle. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh, turtle. Oh, I forgot they did the thing. <laughs> 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 I forgot they did the I thing. I love the thing so much. It's so good, but I get caught by it every fucking time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear me. It's really good. I love the turtles. It's really silly. Are we done? Are we turtle done? Isn't there one more? I think more? we'll be turtle done. I'm sure there was a third turtle. You just killed it. No, he's up here. Oh. You haven't killed it yet. Robin. Oh, Sorry. wow. I just had visions of being hit off the roof down into the canyon. That would probably happen, yeah. That would probably suck. Yeah. Sorry, suck is a British word for when something totally Dennis's. Don't Dennis on me, buddy. <laughs> hey, Robin, I just found your sword. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. no. Oh, that's I mean, a to hole. be fair, this is that, that is the sword that I used for the entire game. Oh, really? So it is my sword. <laughs> and just not in the way I meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. I fell down a hole when I hadn't got all the prizes. What a fool. Oh, a uh, whip. That's my sword. Yeah. Let's be stylish. Is it any good? Cannot remember. I never used it. I was too busy using the big big boy sword. Yeah, the big boy sword. <laughs> the big boy, the sword. big boy sword. Where is the big boy sword? I think I can wield... Wait, no, I can't wield that. You can probably two-hand it. Does two-handing uh, decrease the... Yeah. Decrease the strength requirement. 
Really? Yeah, it's always been the way. What about the dexterity requirement? Ah, uh, probably not. I can't remember that. It wasn't the case in Dark Souls 1. Hmm. The whip doesn't seem super good, but it could just be that I'm not... It's not as leveled up as your spicy sword, is it? That's so. a very good point. The bastard sword just seems very meat and potatoes. Yeah, it's is exactly what I wanted. Sword. The whip seems a lot cooler. Yeah, fair enough. Slow as anything, though. How can you not like that when we turn around first to get some more momentum? It's so cool, but it's slow as anything. Yeah, you, you then still with that. We'll come back to that. Can you use can you use that whip to fuck up those boxes? I mean, I could do. Is this some kind of test, Robin? It, yeah, I'm actually genuinely curious. Uh, okay, I'll re-equip it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. Hey! Yes, you can. You can whip a box. Hey! I don't know if you can whip a barrel yet. I'm not good enough at aiming. Ah, uh, the barrels are too low to be whipped, I'm afraid. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I know that there is, that, that there's this possibility of it. That's really good. Fuck. All right, Dennis is getting his. Hmm? I don't know if he is. Should I should I use my life gems for this one? I should probably use yes. my life gems, shouldn't I? You can buy some more later, and he'll probably drop a bunch of souls when you kill him. That's true. I just the 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 lady by the bonfire doesn't have any left. Is the thing. I already bought her stock of treats. Oh, that's true. Um, Ooh, don't worry that about it. ugly on my back. <laughs> Sorry, it's all about style. Ah, oh, the whip's meant to be faster, it's just I'm not good enough at whipping. Oh, yeah. well. Ah, oh, well. Also, yeah, I do like that. Um, Stardust said about uh, miracles in the first game, it's like self-referential. So mm. the miracles are actually not just like other spells they added, but it's stuff that other characters in the game supposedly did. Yeah. So the example they used was uh, like thrown lightning was just that one time Gwyn chucked some lightning. <laughs> oh! The controller vibrates when Dennis arrives. That's a nice way to let you know he's here. Here comes Dennis. All right, give me the Dennis. Lay some Dennis on me. Actually, don't. I don't want that much Dennis, Robin. If you can help it. I'd, I'd like a little bit of choice in how much Dennis I receive, thank you. <laughs> oh! Hey, I, I dodged a thing and everything. Nice. Does he have a cooldown on that massive sword swipe? Because that seemed like some business right there. Um, I don't. Well, I mean, you don't really have a cooldown on any of your spells in Dark Souls. It's just oh, how really? Many, Is it just uses? Come... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh. It's fancy and magic, which I'm not really a fan of, but I'll allow it. I, guess. I don't know what 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 that word you just said. <sighs> oh, oh sorry. Danny, you've got so much to learn about magic. Excuse me. I know. I know the good magic. I know Fancy about magic. <laughs> summoning treats and like familiars and stuff and like summoning hats and then what you just said, I don't know that one. Fancy and magic is the type of magic in D&D where Dennis done. you've only, nice, where you've only got a set amount of uh, casts per day. Oh, okay. Mm. So like that, Soul um, Dungeons and Dragons business. Yeah, exactly. Um, Dark Souls 1 and 2 use that. Uh, Sorry, I realised I should have emoted when I bloody dennis him. Uh, but Demon Souls and I guess Bloodborne use a different kind uh, of magic God, where you've got I, a mana bar. Uh, I don't think... Actually, I'm not sure how Bloodborne did magic. There was items that... Uh, there, was a, there was a magic stat called Arcane. You may have heard of Arcane. Yeah. Um, and you just had items that you needed Arcane to use. But I'm not sure how it did the thing other than that, because I never statted into it. Bonfire! Bonfire! I, I distinctly remember there being some weird things. Um, but, like, you can cast... Oh, Bloodborne's cast. magic goes off of bullets, of course. Thank yeah. you, Tommy. And because you can regenerate your bullets as you go. There you go. Oh, Shift Key Girl explained to me why Fancy Magic has called that. That... I did not know that, genuinely. Because Thank it's you. it's named after Alex Vance from Half-Life 2. 
You're close, it's Jack Vance. Oh, it's basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. So, go back I'm, to Anjula. Try out your new threads. I'm, I'm go, I've got to explore the place first. Uh, that's true. Oh, I've, I've accidentally angled all, all the turtles. She's brought all the turtles. Um, oh, there's four of them now. <laughs> that's so many turtles. Robin! Oh, Help! Danny! Help! There's too many turtles. Oh, there's a tree! Yeah. There's, a cool, there's a cool tree fella that I don't really have time to... Oh, there's no way out remember, of this room. Remember this tree. This tree is really cool. It's really but cool. It's a cool tree. It's, it's cool no, tree part two. There's no way out of this room. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's alright. The turtles have gone. It's fine. Hey! Wait, so is this just for the bonfire? Uh, yeah. Basically. So, and the and the cool tree. Oh, that's tr that's that's true. The tree is real cool. So I'm assuming then this portcullis opens later. Hey turtle. Oh wait, no, there's a hole in this wall I didn't see. There's so many holes in this place. I I imagine it's the turtles. They're a bit clumsy. Oh, I guess that was too much. I commit. I overcommitted. <laughs> that's one of it's the words Dectalon taught me. Oh. Nice. Overcommitting is what I do when I slash too many times and I get punished for it. <laughs> it's like a fighting game, but I don't get to be pretty. It's like playing Tekken. Oh! <laughs> Hello! There are, some, there are a few good characters in Tekken. I mean, I can't think of any. When I think of Tekken, all I think of is Dr. Bosconovich and the man who is a dummy, and also the guy with a square head who I think his name was Paul. Oh no, Paul's got the head like a can Phil. of pepperoni. Hi Phil. Um, Wait, are you sure Paul doesn't have a big tall square head? He's got a big tall square head. His oh. hair's like a big can of pepperoni. Moku Jin is the dummy, but yeah. there's also what was that? Asuka Kazama, I think her name is. I have no idea who that is. I know they uh, added. It was Tekken the one that added Lucky Chloe, and everyone hates Lucky Chloe. Yeah, um, Lucky Chloe is really good. Uh, yeah, uh, you would probably really, really like Asuka Kazama. <laughs> like, she could is you, your type. Could you, what? That sounds rude. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't paint me as sounding worse than I am. Um, could you, could you like, link me a wiki article or something so I can read up about Tekken? I enjoyed Tekken at yeah. the time. I didn't mean to slam it. I like playing Tekken 3. <laughs> I liked it because you could be the funny dinosaur. Funny dinosaur that can spit fireballs oh, and fast. Oh, Kuma as well. Sorry, yeah, it has the Kuma's cool panda. Good. Tekken's really good. I, I'm looking forward to playing Tekken Seven a lot. I really like how uh, Tekken will announce a cool character design, and then Street Fighter will go, "Here's our character design that's basically that, but slightly different." Like <laughs> uh, Tekken announced Bob, who was a fat dude, but also attacked pretty quickly. And then, oh, and then a few months later, they announced Birdie. Rufus. Oh, is it, who's Birdie? But he's um he was in he was in Alpha, oh, but he was okay. not a fast pu character. He was very much a slow puncher dude. You can't be gone anymore. Oh. Did you ever it's read the manga that Gone was based on? No. Well, it exists. <laughs> Ooh, this is a this is a full house. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that book. Hey, that's it's massive, isn't it? That's too big. How many words do you think there are in that book? Oh, I, I can see at least three. <laughs> okay, if I remember that right, there's a chair. That is way too big. There's a chair up alongside the wall in here. Try rolling into it. Oh, it's locked down. There's a chair up against the wall. Try Maybe rolling just step in. against... I think it might be in front of the book, actually. What? Try rolling into the chair. I mean, I'm... I'm doing it. Uh, I, remember, I remember there was a funny physics thing. Maybe you try hitting it. I don't want to beat up on the book. You, you, the book's indestructible. It's not It's not happening. Oh, did, fine. Did they maybe, if I remember... Did they maybe they, fix it for maybe Scholar they fixed of the First? It, yeah. oh. it used to be the case where you could take out some of the legs, but the thing would stay standing. That, that, that wasn't as funny as you promised. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just destroyed, just destroyed the chair. <laughs> Thank you for. I really, really appreciate you being on watch for funny physics. The, like, pigs! Is it funny? Oh, oh, jeez. Pigs. Sorry, I'm just passing by. Oh, there's blood in here. 
There's lots. Of... <laughs> oh. What did that lad say about going into the mansion? Uh, you should you should definitely go into the mansion and see what's there. Go and go as far into the mansion as you can. Go as deep as you can and rub your face on everything. Exactly. I, I see you've noticed my advent. Oh, there's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh. I've got I think I know what that's from. Skellington. It might be from the Skellington. That Skellington is, is a different mm. colour. Yeah. Just murder it. Oh, okay. No, I was. I assumed it'd be like super strong or something. No. It was just the same, but different. That Skellington had a human effigy. The implications not... for the lore are fascinating. <laughs> You're not going to touch the New Game Plus in this, are you? I have no idea. Um, I, I, I never really go back to them, but I did accidentally touch the New Game Plus in Bloodborne by virtue of doing New Game Plus. I guess accident. so, yeah. And having to go back for the DLC. Um, so in this, every time you kindle the bonfire, oh no, ascetic the bonfire, yeah, or it, your, your like, bonfire plus, level goes up, and that increases yeah. your new game plus level. I know that much. Uh, there is another skeleton in that room. You also missed a chest, by the way, in the room with. The I'm big, just going with back the... to to light my torch. Ah, oh, carry on. Because it looked dark down there, and I was scared. It was pretty dark. There's some cool stuff to see down there. And I want to be able to see. Let me tell you about the implications it has for the law. <laughs> what, being able to see? Yeah. Hi, Moo. <laughs> We're being silly. Uh, I mean, that's basically the whole stream. If we have to start preface when we're being silly, Robin, we're going to be using a lot of the time. This torch is making this castle incredibly bright. Maybe it doesn't always work. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to imagine. Like, so you say they they basically put in the lighting engine from the preview build into Scholar of the First Sin. Kind of, yeah. Like, how, um, how different was the lighting in the first game? Because I know people were real cross. You really <gasps> didn't need to use it. Yard. Yeah, you really didn't need to use it that much um, when you're just plodding about. All right, so apparently. If you look at the ground there, wait, near where you got the Estus Flask Shard, mm. there's some smashed pottery. Yes, there is. People think, there is a theory, people think that that smashed pottery is the Lord Vessel. It has the, the same pattern from what I remember. Yeah. So it could be. You're... But then again, there are also like theories that maybe there are multiple Lord Vessels and... That was only one that was smashed, because yeah. it was just a thing made by a god to try and trick somebody into linking the fires. Some yeah, more. and to be fair, it did work. I have it did work. an incredibly bad feeling about this treasure chest. Give it a whack, a whack. Nah, I mean someone's gonna jump me when I get in it. Oh, probably. Well, don't so... climb in it then. Oh, okay, I won't. Wait, nothing happened. How do all those people get dead on? Probably trying to pick a fight with poor Kale. Poor Kale? Poor Kale the cartographer. Why would you do that? He's not even here I... yet. No, he's a lovely little boy with a funny hat. He's, he was so nice when we met. He's so nice throughout the entire game as well. So is he the one the one Dark Souls character who's nice to you throughout Dark Souls 2? Because there is Actually, always one. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is a departure from the first one, that there are quite a few characters that are nice to you. Um, I think what either what happened there is that they were, they were killed by nice boy Kale, or when every time you kindle the bonfire, there's another skeleton there. Oh, so I see. You, yeah. You know, eat skeletons. I think... <laughs> that's a lot of skeletons. Dark Souls 2 features on the box. One, you can have up to eight skeletons. <laughs> Also, I think I just found something to reset my stats if I really mess up, which is cool. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, I'm glad that's here. Because I can imagine myself messing up. <laughs> you know, I really want to know how you get down this massive hole with obviously stuff at the bottom, but I'm not going to jump down it. Uh, go talk to Sweet Chalqua. That's a good point. I haven't done that in a while in general. Sorry, just navigating boxes. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, who are you again? That's a fair response. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. You do have a rather pleasant scent. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> Is that because I'm hollow now? <laughs> Maybe. I can't believe the cat negs you, the first thing that does when you talk to her. I mean, I think that's a very cat thing to do. That's not, that's not unfair, actually. I just like to hang out with the cat. Same. In theory, like the torch mechanic, I kind of get scared by the time limit. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like that the torch makes you put away your shield um, and you can't two-hand. That's cool. But, like... Why not just do the game... It, the contrivance that it's a video game. You just always have a lit torch in your pocket. I mean, not even lit. I like that you have to carry the lit torch with you. I just... I'm not sure about the timer. That's yeah. all I, that's the only issue I can see. Oh, I mean, obviously, I'm very early in, so maybe <laughs> my comments will change. Yes. Um, yeah, I heard yeah. Uh, the the thing about optimiz optimization of light as well, yeah. Because I, I think that's a... I mean, I, I was not really into the game when it came out, but I was definitely aware of it, and like I say, I heard people were real cross about lighting. And I remember the response being, we couldn't... Sorry, engine... Computers. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Are we running out of places to go? Um, We've done go, go and buy some, buy some stuff from Shalqua. I think we might have oh. run out of places to go in um, in Forest of Fallen Giants, apart from killing the Pursuer. Killing? Oh, I was hoping you were going to say something else. I forgot uh, Kitty Cat Friend had some items to buy. Yep, there is some jewellery that you can purchase from the kitty cat friend. Oh, I didn't mean to talk, I meant to buy. <laughs> <laughs> You're still talking to the kitty cat friend. So, what have we got? Hmm. What should I be buying, Robin? Uh, there's an item, I think, called the silver cat ring. What, reduces damage from falling? Read the description of it. Like, it's, it's really cute. Aww. Aww. So if you've ever had a lovely pet that has passed away, that's happened instead. And then actually fine. Should I get any of the other rings? Um, the... the ring of the evil eye is as useful as it always has been. Um, Which is to say not. It's as useful as it always has been. I don't know how useful it always has been. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, buy the cat ring and jump down the hole. Yeah. Oh, that's a really yeah. good point. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to do that. I hope it I still love kills how... me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the um, overlay that you uh, crafted cuts, cuts off Fruity Loop Samurai's name, so they're just Fruity Loop Sam. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. I am working on it. <laughs> I'm not. I think the, it's great. The, I know you're not. You said you didn't want to. If that person's attacking the cat, I'm going to... Somehow find that ghost. I don't think you can. It's waving an axe around. Yeah, sorry, I am working. If if you have any other problems with the overlay, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, that's enough for a lovely ring. Oh, that's that's clever. Mm. Sorry, I'm just usually a little averse to throwing myself down holes, so I didn't really think of that. Cat is immortal. <laughs> Cat Ex is immortal. Oh, sorry. Just... I'll, I'll close the door on my way out. See you later. Have a have a lovely time. Um, before you throw yourself down any big holes, <sighs> go and talk to Maudlin Maudlin. Because we might have different dialogue now. I want to throw myself down the hole. I know. And it's really good fun. Also, I don't think you've got any reason not to be wearing the silver cat ring at all times. Yeah, I've only got four it's rings. Also, it's got a little cat on it. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, oh. It's adorable. Hello! Oh, he's sat on a chair now. That means he's less sad. Yeah. Oh, oh. Friend! Friend cat. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go get my Estus Flask uh, shard sorted out. Don't worry. Hmm. So, um, Mothlin sells you, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but I can't remember how he says it, so, he sells you, uh, I... Maudlin. 
Maudlin. I'm pretty sure he sells you boss armors. Oh, wow. But you might need to sp uh, spend more money at his shop um, f to unlock that. I mean, it can he sell me the Pursuer armor ever? Maybe? I'm giving him all my souls. <laughs> you need to spend... Um, 16,000, I think. That's, that's spent... nothing? No, not really. Uh, you spent uh, 1,000 the first time to get him to sit up in the chair and be less sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that coat! Yeah! Oh, no, I need to... Oh. Speaking of fashion, uh, yeah, you should try that leather armour. Yeah. That's on the list as well, don't worry. <laughs> I need, <laughs> I need to get 4,000 souls for that thing, though. Ooh, another thing about souls we got... Because uh, this is Dark Souls, when I beat up that giant, I got a big soul from him that I can turn into a weapon. Is that yeah. weapon any good? Um, cannot remember, but um, I don't think you can find the blacksmith to do that for a little while. I was just thinking, but if I it's who I'm thinking souls? of, they're my favourite character in the game. <laughs> Hooray! Well, we'll go get some souls down that big hole. I might want to chat up that old woman in the forest tower. What? Uh, the um, the one lady from... who's got the thing on her back. The lady with the backpack from uh, Labyrinth. From what? Oh, okay. Labyrinth. You say you say she's from Labyrinth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. What I don't want to do is miss that. Does rolling reduce your fall damage? By the way. I don't recall. Oh! <laughs> That's bloody hurt. <laughs> right did me legs in. God, I'll be honest, I always hate this part. They always do this and I always hate they, this. They always do this and it's never really any good. The one in Bloodborne was fucking awful. <laughs> uh, how do I get down there? Because you can never quite get the camera down as far as you want, and then there's all weird perspective stuff, and there's just oh yeah, I like just broke my legs for some poison moss. <laughs> getting... Apparently, getting naked with you, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's the sure. biggest. That's the biggest trick I've ever heard. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not getting naked and throwing myself in a hole. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I can I... see the logic in that, like, you weigh oh, less because you're shit. holding less, so... There's a cave I should have gone in. Um, you can... Oof. I'm pretty sure I can get in there later. Oh, I can just throw myself down this hole again. Yeah. All the way to the bottom. Oh. This is locked. I'm kind of running out of health and I don't want to use life gems, so... I'm probably about to die? I'm almost certainly about to die. Don't. If I'm gonna die, may as well go big. Oh, that broke! Got... <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll... I, I feel like I personally may need more Estus flasks to get down that section. <laughs> Well then! Oh my, oh my goodness. The Pursuer! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's right, I did try. You, you tried. I tried so hard. Bless your heart. Fire down there I could get to. I think... I might just go back there later anyway. It's not as though my jewel is hard to get to, is it? No, exactly. Um, can people in chat remind me, is there another blacksmith that can make boss weapons, or is it just the one I'm thinking Wait, of? what? A covetous silver there... serpent ring? Isn't a covetous silver serpent ring the one that boosts your item drop rate? I think so. Why is she just giving me that? No idea. What? <laughs> Thanks, friend. All right, there are two boss weapon characters. I don't want to 
understand why I just got that price. <laughs> oh, that's for buying oh, things! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so one of them is my favourite character in the game. The other one is kind of a dickhead. Am I allowed to say that? Do I have to on guess? The uh, yeah, you're allowed to do light swears, but no naughty ones. Okay. Cool. Don't say anything rude like bottom. <laughs> oh, and I just really want to say bottom on stream. I know, that's, that's why I put the idea in your head. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't, I didn't realise that NPCs actually, like, kind of start liking you if you give them money. I thought maybe yeah. that was just maudlin. Uh, like, if you, um, eventually, if you keep talking to this merchant, she'll leave and go back to her jeweler, which is kind of cool. Oh, really? Yeah, and she'll still sell you stuff there as well. But she just Sorry, hangs what? out with Majula. I think... Actually, it might be after... You do something. <laughs> uh, ah! You're, you're uh? guiding me through Dark Souls. Uh? Oh, wait. I might have already done something. My favourite line in Doctor... Or pair of lines in Doctor Who is when... Oh. Uh, I can't remember what episode it was, but somebody said the most vague <laughs> thing. Sorry. Two people said the most the vaguest thing I've ever heard. Um, somebody walks up to somebody else and says, "Did he do the thing?" And the other person said, "Apparently." That oh, that answer. I was expecting yes, but apparently makes it even more vague and useless. <laughs> I know, right? Like it's already a bat, like just terrible saying, "Did he do the thing?" Is the thing completed? Apparently, <laughs> so. So can I tell That's you? That's what my, I heard. Can I tell you my favorite Doctor Who thing? Is it the, this okay, one's a bit I think in I know what depth? This is, but please go. Please go. I may have already told you this. So, in the last series, I'm going to walk over to the pursuer while we do this because it's going to take a while. Okay. In the last series of Doctor Who, I watch it with my flatmate and my friends sometimes, and we just have a bit of a giggle because Doctor Who is is trashy. I enjoy it, but it's trashy, you know. Sometimes it doesn't take it is... itself that seriously, does it? No, not at all. It's it's very good, like Saturday evening family telly. In that, you know, it's it's not super hard, but it's also not super well written and stuff. Um, yeah. So in the last series, as as is, you know, Doctor Who's thing because he only ever uses one of a set of like five different naughty aliens. So the one I've gone back to this time was the shapeshifter who lives amongst the humans, um, and there was this fucking incredible like cliffhanger thing split over two episodes where like a, a chief of a big task force was out in this town full of shapeshifters and went to the police station and supposedly the police officer lady was the only one there who wasn't a shapeshifter but it, it turns basically... out she she was she was <laughs> a shapeshifter and then the last time you see um the the big task unit lady is when the shapeshifter cop lady turns back into a shapeshifter and supposedly kills her and replaces her with a shapeshifter too. Um, it was then basically for, like for the next half an hour or so. Pretty much, yeah. And then like for the next um, half an hour of episode or so, uh, like over, because like, that was the end of the first week's episode. Uh, so then everyone assumes that the, the, the task, uh, task unit lady is super evil and against everyone. Um, but then what happens is eventually when it looks like everything is over for the Doctor. She just turns around and said, oh, actually, I'm still human, and you're all fucked. And then it cuts away to this fucking incredible telling of the story where she explains how she got away from the situation, and it plays exactly the same scene through in the police station, exactly, other than five seconds at the end where she pulls out a gun and just starts shooting. <laughs> that is, that's the only resolution, just she had a gun. It was this incredible... Like it's incredibly gun, you know? pointless. There was Chekhov's no gun reason. in the third act where Chekhov says, "Look, I've got this I've gun." Got, that I've was got lucky. a gun. Thank God I packed this gun. And didn't but, tell anybody about it. Oh, it's just, it's so, it was beautifully stupid. Doctor anyway, Who. Enough Doctor Who for now. <laughs> 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 That's Doctor Who chat for the evening. I'm just, I was just trying to fill time until we got back to the pursuer because I'm scared. <laughs> By the way, Who's I had to look at... incredibly silly. Yep. Sorry. Very sorry. I had a look at the weapon you can get from the soul of the last giant. It's mm -hmm. called the Giant Stone Axe. So that should tell you whether you want to make it or not. Probably no, to be honest. I'm not really a yeah. giant stone... 
Oh, how'd they make it up there? Cheeky Don't devils. Want to read that message, even though it just be I did it. You are a fool for looking. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, you know what? I sh should I unhollow, or is it not really worth it? Um, you're not missing that much health. But then again, how much faith do you have in the magic pixel? The magic pixel? Or you just got a pixel left of health? Oh, that's what that is. Uh, not a lot, to be honest. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna have, probably require a few practice runs against them anyway. That's true. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try parrying. I'm gonna get it. You, yeah, like, um, that charge is probably the most easily telegraphed. Oh, you can actually parry that one? That charge that yes. Oh, okay. Well, that was... It's very easily telegraphed, but I still miss it. <laughs> it's, uh... I'm wondering if they're maybe not using good armor, because it seems very punishing to get hit by the charge at all. You can level up your, your armor, can't you? Can you? Yeah. I think the, the key here is just don't get hit. Oh, okay. Thanks for your tactical when, advice. What do you think of that? Ugh. What a fool I've been. Oh. I was too close. He didn't do the thing. Whoa, Ooh. that was cool. <laughs> Is that the response I should have had there when I was getting chopped? Just, oh, cool. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, I spun around. <laughs> you know what else we haven't tried? We haven't tried outfits, have we? No. Um... We may as well do that while we're here. So what did we Try get? Out. I don't remember um, what we got. Was it just the leather armor? It's got the leather armor, which also came with a fancy hat. Hmm. I do prefer the falconer armor, I'll be honest. Fair enough. Oh, um, that I hat like looks fancy. One. It's a pretty fancy hat. <laughs> I like this armor enough to wear it through the entire game. Um, maybe not the best decision I could have made. That's a very fancy hat, but I'll be honest, I do kind of prefer the beret. I wore the fancy hat only when I was hollowed, and I was ha hatless. Hatless. Yes, without hat. Hatless. Yeah. Uh, with this one, those are basically the same thing. I'll be honest. I really Pretty like sharp. the falconer set. Oh. Yeah. So what rings are we using? The life ring and the blue seal both increase my health. That increases my stamina and the cat rings for having a cat on my finger. So we're all ready to go. Hmm. Is there a maximum amount uh, that you can get hollowed by? Uh, half your health. Oh. Wow, that's a large amount. Yep. That's a bad mechanic, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay, glad we yep. agree. Supposedly, uh, someone told me hollowing was being removed from three, but I don't know if that means they're removing the health, uh, the health decrease as well. I I guess so, because it's not very fun. It's it's that thing of it feels like it's punishing you for losing, whereas the punishment for losing should surely just be you died. Yeah, exactly. Like, I I I kind of feel like Demon Souls as well. Wasn't that the um, one where, you, where you, like, you effectively got, like, the curse status from Dark Souls every time you died? Yeah, but I feel that the game was balanced more around that. Um, so, you, like, the enemies probably... I feel that the enemies hit l uh, for less. World Tendency. Oh, <gasps> God, World Tendency was such a weird... Is it, is it true that people still don't really understand how World Tendency works, like, seven years on? I think so. I, if I remember rightly, that like it's doing quests helps the white tendency, and killing NPCs uh, makes it more uh, dark tendency. But I don't know how the global thing works. Is it just that someone at From Software HQ toggles a button on a server, rolls a dice? Wait, being dead in Demon Souls means your footsteps don't make sound. What? That's that's true. That's weird. Yeah, because well, you're a ghost. Oh, well, you were a ghost in the first one, not a an undead. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then um, when you uh, get your body back, then you've got more health, sure, but also people can hear you coming. 
I actually didn't realise in the first one it wasn't just, uh, you know, undead. I actually mm. like the idea of being a spooky ghost more when you're... Oh, that was a bad one. But I think that's a cuter conceit that you're getting your body back. Yeah, absolutely. Not there is a ring that you can get um, that's... Uh, there's a ring you can get that will help you with your health loss uh, in hollowing form, but I cannot remember what it's called. What, in this game? Yes. The ring of I wish I had that. Yeah. Give me that ring, please. Ring. Oh, wow, that's quicker than I thought. <laughs> uh. I'll get that, I promise you. <laughs> oh, you can't. Wait, I need to run to the thing. Bugger. Right, 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 right. Quickly press it. Oh, whoa! Holy shit! Did you even the blister? Yeah, Robin, you did yeah. too. I took off like all of his health. I, I wanted you to find out for yourself. Holy shit! That's... It's really good. It's really good. I feel like I just cheated. No, nope. they put those things there for you to use. Like 90% of his health? <laughs> oh, it's so good though. It's so good though. <laughs> I feel like I didn't earn that. <laughs> well, I guess it's I, okay. you can I, guess I parried later. him three times. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's not an easy feat. What did I get? I got a ring and a soul. Let's see what ring it was. Oh, that's got spike. Oh, hello. Increases ring physical attack. Yes. Nice. Okay, oh. uh, the ring that I'm thinking of is called the Ring of Binding. I'm going to find out where you get that, and then tell you to go there straight away. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, so, I absolutely need the stamina ring. I absolutely need the Ring of Blades. But then You don't need the, the Catfall ring right now. But it's got a kitty cat it's on it. It's got a little kitty cat on it. I know. Mm, I don't... I suppose I should take off the kitty cat ring. Is the blue seal or the life ring better? Uh, the life ring is better, but neither of them are particularly good. So you're saying I should remove that and stop using the baby crutch? Okay. Um, I mean, arguably the Chloranthia ring is the baby crutch. I will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bully. I used it for the entire game myself, like... I use the Ring of Favor and Protection and the Chloranthi Ring because I love having stamina. Wait, the Favor and Protection Ring's in this one? No, I was talking about Dark Souls 1. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a that's a cool hole I can jump to. You leave that tree alone, you motherfuckers! <laughs> Stop bullying! Wow. You're welcome, buddy. They just, they just went down. <laughs> Fruity Loops Sam says always keep the cat ring. Always keep the cat. Okay, always keep the cat ring. I'll believe that. Did I keep the cat ring? I don't really. Yeah, I kept the cat ring. Okay. It's important. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, remember <gasps> that bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get nested. I got. I got like three of them. Nice. Can you actually just leave three at once? Uh, three what's? Smooth and silky stones is. Yeah. Oh no, this is a different kind of nest. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait, can I actually crawl in this one? Yeah. Uh oh. I pressed examine and I just got. I'm an egg now. That's that's all. <laughs> I'm an egg now. <laughs> I, I haven't finished exploring. <laughs> you can come back. Uh, you leave stones. Okay, one last oh, time. Yeah. Thank you, Dactylon. Oh, I wish I'd unhollowed for this. That would have looked cool. That would have that would have been a good thumbnail. Oh, dang it! Hello, that's two treasure chests. All right, so this part sucks. <laughs> Thank you, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is shit. Oh, apparently you missed the Drangleic set. Which... I assume it was down that hole I could have jumped down. Probably, yeah. So I'll, I'll okay, go back like... round. Um, I know how to get the Ring of Binding. 
Do you remember that area where with all the towers poking out of the water and all the tough lads and I said, you should probably yes. come back here later? Yes. Well, it's late enough now. Oh. <laughs> Just a deflated sort of... Uh. What was that key <laughs> I got? Let's look at some item texts. A dull ember. Oh, okay. A, a dull ember, it turns out, is an ember <coughs> that's oh, dull. Good. That, that's good. What's the dull ember? It means you can level up your uh, weapons better. What? You can level up your weapons better. That explains nothing. You can level up your weapons better. Oh! What? It always used to be the case that um, you could, like, you upgrade them to, to five, and then that's it. Oh, that that gives blacksmiths the ability to go above the number five. Yeah. Is that actually a book that just explains six, seven, eight, and nine? <laughs> okay, so you count it on your right hand. Now, let me blow your mind for a second. Look left. Yeah, See that other hand? That's, that's left one, left two, left three, left four, and left five. I don't understand, yeah. Robin. We're gonna have we're gonna have some problems here. Um, we're having problems already, but I shot a ballista at them. That's a good. That's a good point. I forgot about that. I, was, I feel weirdly guilty about that. <laughs> the pursuer deserved better. They were so cool. Oh, I suppose you said they'll come back later. I'll I'll fight them properly later when I'm a grown up. Yeah. Um. So there's a blacksmith back at Medulla. But don't give it to him. There's another blacksmith. Okay. Whatever you say. If there's some weird noise, it's because I'm eating soup right now. Way to make me jealous. Oh, I got their armor. It was worth coming back. How cool is this? More fashion souls. Wait, when did I get unhollowed? You used a um, thingy... Oh, in I did. The <laughs> yes, of thingy. course. Sorry, I'm paying <laughs> attention. Mm, that's kind of cool. I, I don't know if I'm feeling it, but it is kind of cool. <gasps> it's pretty powerful as well. Uh, Phil, it is chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup. Oh, come on, Robert. Mm, I want chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I'll pour it into my CD tray. And hopefully it will come through the internet to you. That's not how it works. A CD tray is where solid things come out of. Oh, so the so noodles will come out of there, but the soup will... Yeah, the noodles and chunks mm. will come out of there, but for the soup, you'll... I'll need to open up a USB port on the back and put a bowl underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in my mind, I just have the mental image of, like, the CD tray, just like... Like, you could download a piece of toast or something, and it would just come out yeah. of the CD tray. Basically, please donate to my Kickstarter. All right, Alex, I guess... Photography said something. I'm going to mute, yeah, mute my microphone for a little bit. Bloody legs. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm on my own now, so I should be saying interesting things, but that's kind of killed me as well. <laughs> oh, that was a very poor dealing with the tree guys that time. That was not as effective. <laughs> Lexi, I'm calling the police. Hmm? No, be nice to Lexi. Please, be nice to <laughs> Lexi. She's lovely. <laughs> Just because you got bullied uh, about your soup. It's, it's really nice soup as well. Oh, I'm doing it again. You're rubbing it in. Okay, okay. Um. Well, yeah, this is a really nice glass of water I've got, and also, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um. Oh, oh, bugger. I did the thing. You did the thing. I, I clean gone and missed it. Triangled again. I also got a pair of turtle leggings. <laughs> Those do not look very nice. The turtle all. leggings. Do you, yeah. do you have the turtle bod, uh, chest as well? Or? I do. Can't really uh. use it though. That's a kind of nice look. Hmm. I actually quite like that. That's quite a nice look. Those leather boots we got look quite, look quite nice. Hmm. Although, 
they don't have very good stats. <laughs> Do the stats really matter? I guess not. That's not really. It might can level them up. Those I like those big chunky boots. I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like the leggings as well. It's probably just proper leggings. I'm out in my adventuring tunic and my beret. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, of course. They're called Turtilons. How could I forget? Right, I tell you what, this time we're getting that suit of armor. <laughs> third time third time lucky. Stats don't really matter on armor. Thank you so much, Dectalon. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> I'm going to look up if there's a mod for the PC version of Dark Souls 2, Scar of the First Sin, where you will never hollow. Or at least, never look like you're hollowing. I mean, I feel like that'd be... Oh, okay, never look. Okay. Wow, that's yeah. that's actually a big old pile of stuff. Big pile of garbage. That's my name! <laughs> Trangalic armor. Where is it? Oh, that's cool! I can't remember if you get the helmet. That's Did super you? cool! No, but I did put on your favourite hat and it makes me look like a proper dinkle. Yeah. <laughs> That's not... I remember the Drang <laughs> the Drang Lake shield is actually really good, if I remember rightly. Ooh. Nice big gloves as well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, I've got I've gotta see what, what it looks like with the just uh, the leggings are rubbish though. Oh well. The, the curse of Jock. This is a real under curse, isn't it? Can ever find decent leggings? I mean, I think it's the whole wrinkly skin thing, but. Oh wow, that shield looks awesome. Yeah. Can't use I, it though. Can't. Oh, is it a strength thing? Yeah. I remember its stats. Are, its numbers are quite high. I think it's one of the only ones that gives you 100% defense. <gasps> the sword looks cool as well. Just the Drang Lake stuff's real good. Oh, wow. I'm... Oh, wow. If those are the real attacks as well, I really like those swipes. I may have to come back to that one when I get... <laughs> uh... Actually, how much... Yeah, what's your strength oh, you need for it? Oh, wow. I need, like, ten more dexterity as well, even even not counting strength. Ten dexterity. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, you need twenty dexterity and twenty-five strength. I have 11 strength and 9 dexterity. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I mean, you could go pop up your strength and dexterity for a bit. I could. I do have a lot of souls, as uh, Dexalo mentioned. Yeah. I'm just trying to think about any... Okay. Um, hot idea. I get it. Uh, I'm using the spicy longsword. Spicy longsword. So what we'll do is we'll go back to Medulla, level up, then we'll go through Hades Tower of Flame until we find the first bonfire, then see how far we want to keep going. Is Hades Tower of Flame the one with all the lads, as you so delicately put it, popping a squat? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to see if I can go through here backwards. Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm done! I had an accident. Mm. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, I killed them at least. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that those were the exploding ones. I mean, you, you made your own solution. Not right. all heroes wear capes. Nullify Except for you, you're literally wearing a cape. Yeah, I, the first thing I do with a cape, blow myself up. <laughs> I'm I'm so cool. Wait, nulli why would you ever want to nullify the human effigy's effect? Why would you want to hollow yourself deliberately? I'm assuming it's uh, if you throw it into a bonfire, you say, I don't want this anymore. Uh, and then you can get invaded. I guess, and some people go up. Oh, so if you throw a human effigy in the fire, that blocks it, of course, yeah. Right, let's do some levelling. Hello, friend, I have a cape now, too. 
So I don't think you threw anything into the fire, did you? No. Weird. I can't tell if she has a hole in her skirt or if her leg is clipping through her skirt. It could be both. Let, let's go with the first one. Because it it's could be saucier. Both. Oh, in Scholar of the First one, you get the effect after beating a boss. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know what my soul memory is. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I think you can check it on your um, uh, stats page for your character. I'm currently leveling up, so wouldn't not say it here? I mean, uh, you tell me. I'm look. There's so many stats on this screen, Robin. Oh my god. Um, your soul memory, I think, is... Is that not just your level? <sighs> I have no idea. Is soul memory the total number of souls you've collected? I think so. On oh. the stat screen, it's on the top right, so it's not here yet. It might be 84,000, but that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely not 84,000. Oh, apparently it's 84,000. How? I'm, so that's I'm... all the souls you've collected. Oh, okay. Ah. That's kind of nice to know. I think this was the right way. This, uh, the way by the covenant of getting beaten up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mostly for ma multiplayer matchmaking, so you don't, like, roll a character. Well, you intentionally don't level up, but... You still get a load of souls? I do kind of like the idea that they're trying to match you based on experience rather than level. Because, oh, I, I think the word, oh, I'm not going to say that since there's a rude connotation to it. <laughs> and if I, if it's not called that, I'm going to look like a damn fool. But I think, <laughs> I can't not say it now, can I? I think it was called Twinking where you set yourself to level naught and just bully people. <laughs> I think that's what, I heard it called that before, but I have no idea. Was it smurfing? No, smurfing is where you set up a level naught account and go beat up people and summon his rift. Wait, so what's bearing? I think what's bearing is thinking and bearing. Bearing is where you snarl at someone. Ah, oh, okay. I I think I'm going the right way. I kind of don't remember. I'm pretty sure you're going the right way as well. Yeah. I kind of just don't you'll, remember. You'll be able to tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we see all the sad there's guys. The there's also the bit with the lock, so that means you're going the right way. Oh yeah, there was all the blood and then there was the sad boys. Mm -hmm. Sad boys. Okay, I got it right. <laughs> oh, That was fortunate. Thank, thank you, Kat. Okay, so smurfing is the term I knew, and that's because we played MOBAs together, Robin. And twinking is the World of Warcraft term, because every term that comes out of World of Warcraft makes me want to cry. Do you know what they call <laughs> characters in World of Warcraft? It's fucking what? tunes. Tunes? Tunes. What a You're making that up. I am absolutely not. It's a nasty term. That's a bad term. Um, so is this Papa Squat guy going to get angry at me if I walk forward? What? Um, Look at the size of that one! <laughs> I actually don't know what he's going to be like. Because um, it used to be the case where if you walked too close to them, they'd stand up and slap you. Yeah, but I just but, like, touched his head. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening here, is it? Um, so, um, this area looks super, super cool. I really like these giant bird statues with swords. I thought that ghost was the Papa Squat Man coming to kill me. And now let's die against the giant <laughs> man. Oh, he's bloody huge. He is bloody huge, but he's bloody oh, slow. Oh, don't so come near me. Na, 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 na. Wow, you, you were not kidding. <laughs> you were a... Bit of a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> These enemies are absolutely balanced by um, how fast they move, or rather, how fast they don't move. I'm guessing but that's it, okay. I'm guessing if I let myself get hit by them, it would have been a miserable time. I'm also guessing yeah. that castle is where the bosses live. That looks there are actually so cool. two bosses in this area. One of them is on the critical path. One of them is. Uh, to do with the Covenant. I think the one with the big castle with the drawbridge is one for the Covenant. Oh, really? Yeah. I but you should go, go there, there, absolutely. You should go there, because it's cool. 
Also, the lad with a hammer let him die. The lad with a hammer let him die? Oh, I think you already killed him. I think he probably dropped something. You should pick it up. No. The lad with a hammer? Anything. Okay, let's change that one then. What, you mean the big mace? That the I just big killed? mace. Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. change that one. Nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Oh, weird. Oh, I don't like the amount of space I've got to fight this one. So I'm concentrating really hard counting attacks. Yeah. I, that's another thing I've learnt. Counting attacks is good. You need to learn how long people are going to take to swipe at you. <laughs> get his feet! Get his feet! Get his feet! Oh! That was sad. Yeah, okay, so they changed that one then in that case. Uh, that's surprising. What was he meant to drop? Um, an item called Sublime Bone Dust. It's really, really good. Is that for making yourself have a better skeleton? Yeah, get a really strong skeleton. So when I killed that guy, a lever appeared in the floor. I'd Give probably, it a yank! I probably want to touch that thing, right? Yeah. What's the worst thing that's happened from pulling random levers? Well, I think I broke that house. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. No, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. There's a speedrunning strat that involves not pulling any of those levers and then killing the boss really quickly. You might have seen it. It's quite funny. I absolutely haven't. I've, I've somehow managed to have my, a, mostly a blackout on this game. Oh, it's Fair the enough. Hall of Giant Swordmen. Turn around from the Hall of Giant Swordsmen. There is a bonfire just by the, uh, the front door to this place. Not just the, bo what? the Hall of Giant Swordsmen, just like... You know where you came in and there was the, the man sitting down being sad? Yeah, the sad boys. There's a bonfire not too far from there. Oh, okay. I found Lloyd's Talisman again. He leaves those things everywhere. Classic Lloyd. Classic forgetful Lloyd. <laughs> Going through so many talismans. <laughs> um, bonfire? Yes, yes, I will deal with you in a moment. <laughs> bonfire? Bonfire? Hello? Uh, there might be some stairs down by the side, uh, near one of the, the sad boys. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Just because it's easier than, like, walking back from Medulla if you die here. I, I really appreciate you telling me, because, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. That was basically me being daft not seeing that. Um, also, yeah, so invisible, ja uh, invisible jackass cartwheeling a lightning's fire hunter into my face sort of describes why I'm scared of Dark Souls PvP. It's an incredible sentence, though. It's an incredible sentence. Go and fight one of the sad boys. I don't want to be up the sad boys. Be they're a having, bully. They're having a bad enough time as it is. You'll need to fight one. <laughs> I actually don't know if you need to fight one of them later, but they are cool. I like. That's a the big sword. <laughs> wow! So it used to be the case that you could run here. Um, well, obviously you can always run here from right from the start, uh, and you can get an item from one of the early enemies that makes the oh, rest of the game easier. The... And I nearly told you to do that, which would have been rude of me. There was, uh, there was, the edge of the ledge was there. Oh dear. Oh, this dear, continues dear. the tradition in Dark Souls where, more often than not, I kill myself more than they do. <laughs> just, you just, just got a ring out. That's what happened there. Oh, he's Bring back. Yourself. So, I mean, is there any way I can actually make Dark Souls 2 look like Virtua Fighter 2? Because I'd be into it. I'd be into that. Fuck. Virtua Fighter 2 is a beautiful thing. What, yeah, Pedal like, if we, if we could do that, I'd just play through Dark Souls 2 again and not even care about Dark Souls 3. What does a pale stone look like? <laughs> pale stone? I think got a thing called a pale stone, but I don't know what it looks like. I have no idea what that is. It's a stone, but it's a little bit pale. Where Thanks. is it? Oh, it's a type of Tysonite. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you win again, Gravity is... Unfortunately, probably the most accurate way to describe what I just did. <laughs> Whoa. 
these guys are not as strong as I would have thought. I just got full on smashed with a mace. Yeah. So um, it's kind my... of because this... <laughs> this is one of the areas you can go to right from the start. But I was bloody terrified of it. It looks spooky. It, it looks so cool. This is maybe yeah. one of my favourite areas I've seen in a Souls game so far. Absolutely. It's just... It's... Oh. I'm doing that thing that chefs don't do when I'm kissing my fingers. Just, oh, you're ah. doing your brand thing. My brand thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Lexi. <laughs> I've got the picture of that she um, the discourse chef saved on my desktop. And... Um, the other day, my brother was looking at my computer because uh, he wanted to play Nuclear Throne. And just having a look at my desktop icons, they were, what? what's that? He double clicked them to make it bigger. And when he found out what it was, um, it didn't provide any answers. It provided only <laughs> further questions. I imagine that's probably the case for most of the things on your computer, though, dear. Oh, wow. I don't mean that in a nasty way, it's just, what are all these pictures of all the Jojo men doing? <laughs> They're having a fun time and hanging out with their friends. Oh dear. Sorry, small problem, small night related problem. Those are quite big nights. I'm doing the Dark Souls thing. I'm running away and having a drink. There you go. You're doing it. Oh, I actually, this I might have made my situation worse. Hmm. Don't really want to fight him on the bridge. Ah, what worried about? Invade the world of the guilty. What? What does that mean? Is that people who've done naughty things to NPCs? I remember in the oh. Dark Souls one there was a. In the Dark Souls one, in the first <laughs> game of the series, the Dark Souls. Um, I remember there was a system whereby you accumulated sins by doing naughty shit to NPCs, right? Yes, um, you it... can pay uh, Oswald the Pardoner, I think, and he would um, get rid of your sins for a small fee. Um, I think you can also uh, make other people into sinners by indicting them if they invade you in PvP and kill you. Is that basically the same? Like, would those blue eye orbs take me to the world of the noughties then? Maybe. <laughs> the world of the noughties, where only oh, girls allowed is. God, I remember the kooks. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have a, One time, my sister, while she was in Brighton, went out drinking with the kooks. Pricks, apparently. Oh, no. Oh, no, I annoyed one of the fellas popping a squat. Oh, let's see what happens. Everybody at home. Is it that I will die? I fucking love these guys' animations. They are- they look so fucking cool. Yeah. They just- they're- oh wow! They're just having such a bad time. I feel sorry yeah. for them. I'm having the bad time now. <laughs> you are getting ganged up on. But I have drinks. That's true. Oh, oh, that was a very bad move. Oh no, I got him. It's okay. Um, nothing much happened, Robin dear. Oh, oh well. Um, <laughs> sometimes when it used to be the case, but when you killed them, you could take their sword. And theirs was uh, cool and electrical enchanted. Um, K Price forty five just said, "Remember the pigeon detectives." And oh, basically, I want oh. moderator powers so I can ban them. Remember the plain white tees. Hey, anyone remember <laughs> scouting for girls? No. Oh. Oh, I'm going to drop out of this call in a minute. Scouting for Girls is maybe my favourite reference for that whole wave of shitty saccharine indie pop. Because their song, She's So Lovely, is maybe the most meaningless, worthless song ever written. And I know that sounds mean, but the chorus of the song is just him shouting, She's so lovely! She's so over lovely. and over and over again. She it's... is so lovely. Oh, it's so... Mm. Do you remember when we went to the ch church's gig? And you're trying to remember who the... <laughs> who was it? It was uh, who sang Foundations. And it turns out it was Kate Nash, but I could not remember no, no, for the life of me. You described them as a shitty rip-off of another singer. And you were trying to trying to remember the person's name. And then the guy, uh, completely unrelated to us, they never said Kate Nash. And we were, yeah. oh, went, hey. Oh, yeah, cheers, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, Foundations was... It seemed like a really cynical, all right, I'm going to be Lily Allen now. 
Yeah, that was it. Uh, people in the chat are discussing what Estus tastes like. We've established this. Iron Brew. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's Iron Brew. Yeah, because we're in Scotland. Uh, it, it could be Sunny Delight. It's definitely got the colour of Sunny Delight. But I feel like... Sniper, try Sniper but Wheaton's Head. I feel like Sunny Delight is maybe not enough of like a specific reference for this run. Mm. And like I would say, oh, maybe it's... It's jam, haha, it's the energy. But then Robin's here, and Robin doesn't even know what a Lost Planet is. I've played a Lost Planet. They're alright. It's not boiled piss. Um, it's Lexi, it's not boiled piss. It's not boiled piss. Lexi. Oh, the I was going to go with Lucasade. The Popper Squat fellas are really cross at me now. Why has this happened? It might have... I'm honestly not sure. Oh, wow, that hurt. Right, right in me. Right in your guts. Oh dear. Wow, that's so cool! They're really cool. I, I, uh, They've fuck. got amazing animations. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're so cool! That guy's cool. I, really good. I'm happy to die to him. <laughs> Well, that doesn't uh, Danny, have to run you... through here. Hmm? Danny, are you ever going to release the tapes on Lost Planet 1? Nope. Okay. Nope. nope, nope. <laughs> I'm very embarrassed of it. Sorry. <laughs> it was in 2007. God, that was nearly 10 years ago, wasn't it? I do have the files other than one. Um, well, I, I couldn't find one episode, so it would be incomplete, technically speaking, which is the real reason I didn't release it a while ago. But I'm genuinely just really embarrassed of it. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> Yeah. Got away with that one. I wonder I... if... Oh, sorry. No, sorry, P please carry on. I was going to say, I wonder if um, any of the lads here do drop stuff. Um, the Specifically the Hade Knights, if they drop anything uh, that you can carry with you, like a cool sword. Um, Hade Knights are the sad lads sitting down, by oh, the, the way. Sad boys. Sad boys. Yeah, it used to be the case that there were none of those sad boys in Hades Tower, it was just um, the Sentinels. That seems to have made this area a lot more difficult. Yeah, um, but as on the flip side, there was a Hades Knight in the uh, Forest of Fallen Giants, uh, in the bit with the, the tree and the doorway oh, that looks a bit yeah, like yeah, when you said... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, Robin. Um, <laughs> when you said... <laughs> When you said there used to be a guy who sat at the tree, was that one of them? Yeah, exactly. What a weird uh, and he decision. His sword. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I get... that was just a mess. I get why you want to put Hade Knights in Hades Tower of Flame. Uh... But I don't know why you want to take them out of the other places. I just, I rolled into a wall and just chumped myself up. Yeah. Sounds like it stings. That was a real bad time. So why did we come here again, Robin? <laughs> Um, because there's a boss. Is this where I'm meant and to there's be a going? Bonfire. You can go here. Um, you got the bonfire at the other place, though, didn't you? So. I sort of wanted to explore the Lost Bastille, yeah. Okay, we can go there. I mean, I'm here now. I don't like context switching. It makes work very hard. That's what my boss says. Oh yeah, but, uh, just Francisco makes an excellent point. The Ring of Binding is here as well. The Ring of Binding. Oh, was that the one where you don't look hollowed? Uh, you no, know, you still look hollowed. You just oh. don't act hollowed. Oh, sorry. I like I said, I'm looking on Dark Souls Nexus mods, mods Nexus mods. Look Try and find. Harder. Gets rid of red bloodshot effect during boss cutscenes. Oh, we're halfway yeah, there. I love that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Replaces you died with you died like a bitch. Rude. Great. Changes sweet shell coin to white chest tabby cat. Okay, that's sort of cute. That's all right, actually. Although she's she's already a, like a nice type of cat as it is, you know. Yeah. She's a very cute cat. Absolutely. 
I do like that people have spent a pretty large amount of time figuring out how to change the you died text. Like, I know at this point it's extremely old hat, but I still have a lot of love for the mod that changed it in Dark Souls 1's just thanks Obama. Thanks Obama, that's what I was thinking of, that was a good one too. That's a very good one? Oh, my back does not deserve this. Uh, Shifty Girl, I believe it was the white ring. Um, and while I know it exists, it's like a ring slot for something that's just cosmetic and uh, after a point you'd rather have what sorry what something what, that does what, something what, what, what? There's, there's a ring you can get that uh, makes you not look hollow I'll, I'll use that I'll fucking use that <laughs> I don't I'm care really I'll use good. that <laughs> I could have killed him and everything Sorry, I know I'm being very cagey with these two in particular, but I just don't. I don't you feel kind confident. of have to be, yeah. I I don't I can't feel blame you taking it to them. Oh no, the white white ring is something completely different. Oh. Dang, I'm wrong. Oh, there's rings that make you look like a ghost or an invader. That's just yeah. rude. Wow. Yeah, sorry, shifty girl. My bad. Um. I mean, when you're a white phantom, don't you look like yourself anyway, just a ghost? Uh, yeah, but then you look like a ghost. I mean, I'd rather be a ghost than a wrinkly, weird zombie. If I had to choose. <laughs> Are you an angry popper so, squat man? No, Ring of the Dead. Anymore. I found it. I figured it out. God damn it, the proofreader's here just to tell me that I'm fired. Ooh. You know what? Fair enough. I see okay, a treasure. I know I know how to get the Ring of the Dead as well. It's not for bloody ages. No. Oh. Also, you have to get rid of a really cool weapon if you want to get it. Really? So I, they make yeah. you trade in weapons now. It's a a specific weapon. Like you find it at one point, and you know you have to use it later on. But why would you want to get rid of it? Because it's such a good weapon. Like not. Not, maybe not necessarily a good weapon as in, like, damage and high numbers. I hope I can walk back up here. Do I have to make that guy upset before he'll move? I guess I do. Uh, I know how to do it. Hey! I brought this fire for you. Wow, he does not care about witching. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> what? That's so fast. I, I, I want to parry him, but that's so fast. Oh, that's so slow. Speedy boys. So oh, okay. Speedy Apparently, boys. The weapon I'm thinking of has been significantly improved, which is disappointing because oh, the Ring Christ. of the Dead is also really useful. Moral choices. Oh God, he was waiting for. These guys are clever, and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm actually trying to get my souls further back in. Mm. If I die, I want to die before these three nasty people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this this guy really messed me up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going down, Robin. <laughs> Oh, we traded blows. I thought I might have him if I tried really hard, but I absolutely didn't. So, I mean, am I allowed to know what that weapon you're hinting at is, or is that technically spoilers? I don't want to spoil it for you, just because, like, you know how I said that the um, uh, spells are even more anime than they yeah. were in the first game? Is there an even well, more this anime is... sword? It's a... Uh... An incredibly anime oh sword. And it's not like the Moonlight sword that's in every From Software game, right? No, 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 it's... it's oh, God. Lifted straight from an anime and put into this game. I 
thought I would hit him another time, and I absolutely didn't. I'm just getting nothing out of this. Balls. Root. Apparently, the Ring of Binding, it says PlayStation 4, X1, DirectX 11 in the chest near the Dragon Rider. I don't know what the Dragon Rider says, is. The Dragon Rider is um, by that misty door that you were just next to. The Dragon Rider? The was Dragon that the name Rider. of the guy who was sat down? Uh, he's behind the, um, the misty door. Oh, okay. We'll get there. Oh, but keep striking me. You nasty man. All right, I'm 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 sort of losing it, but I we can do this. We, I we can do this. I want to explore the left hand side first. I want to know what's up there before we stop. That's what's important because I'm imagining through that door's a boss, you know. Mm. Uh, Proofy says, "Don't tell you about the bosses. I didn't tell you about the other one in here because they're they're cool. I told you about the dragon rider because they're essentially just a Ow. fat lad." But do they ride a dragon? Because that's cool. I mean, I actually, mean, they may, they might have changed a lot for Scott of the first sin. <laughs> you don't think they added a whole dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised if they added a whole dragon. Oh wait, I just realised. It's the bird that was carrying around the pursuer, the bird that took me to the Lost Bastille. It might have been, actually. I don't... I don't know if that's the case. It looked similar. I, I mean, you didn't... I didn't really get a decent look at the bird that dropped off the... Oh, I can't believe people in the chat are spoiling this. Like, hmm? when I... <laughs> ignore what the chat is saying. I'm not looking at it right now. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm trying to fight a sword, man. Uh. I'm dealing with the sword man, so that'll give it enough time to get out my eye line, right? Yeah. Also, it's probably fine, probably. Probably. Probably fine. Mm. I don't know, if I say something that I look directly into the camera and wink, then like... I understand that doesn't really play well over audio. Nice animation, squad. <laughs> I love video games. <laughs> oh no, I'm on the wrong side of the fucking door. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> it's just a coordinated dance troupe at this point. It's pretty good. That I ruined, good. unfortunately. <laughs> this game's uh, alright. It's alright, innit? Video games aren't as terrible as we all thought. I mean, they are. But for different reasons. Can I get through this area without angering the Papa Squat Man? Um, I think you can, uh, but the thing no, is you, you no, want to no, physically no. anger him because he's sitting on something really useful. No, I, I mean this one in particular who seems to have been very angered by my presence. No, you want to go through um, the other misty door. No, I want to explore the areas. Oh god. Oh heavens. The small man and the big man at the same time is a very unpleasant combination. You can look at chat now, by the way. I can't, I'm fighting. <laughs> oh god, how how mm. Maybe if I do strong attacks and, like, stagger that man a little bit? He doesn't I, seem to yeah. enjoy strong attacks. Just give him a little prod until he falls down. <laughs> you all know the same moves. Mm. Do they learn them in Big Sword Guy Camp? Oh, that said, I got caught by one. So I don't really have a lot of health to deal with the guy who killed me with amazing, beautiful spinning last time. Yeah. I'm also out of life gems, which is a little scary. Oh, right. At least you got some more Estus Flasks, at least. I have four. They're all used. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. Mm, 
That looks like a dead thing. What's that? Hmm. How do I deal with this one? He just blitzed me last time, so maybe don't let that happen again? Yeah. Just don't let him get on you. Ha! Maybe I just need to be using heavy attacks more. They're good. He's got a longer stick than I have. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I jumped clean into it. That was bad. Oh. Can I... No, fucked up. I missed my... If I'd have hit that swipe, I would have won. But I didn't hit that swipe. Ah. Oh. Oh well. That's irritating. Mm. I think I got so scared that I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sort of the entire story of my playing Dark Souls, really. Oh god, that third one's wider than I thought. Uh, so, oh, actually, you know what? I should probably unhollow. That's getting quite low. Yeah, it is a bit. Which might be, to, might be related to why I'm having so much uh, health problems and, oh dear, dying problems. Although, yeah. the getting pummeled with a mace isn't helping. That's part of it, I feel. Um, if you go towards... Okay, so you know there's that uh, room with the three lads? Uh, the s strong boys, not sad boys. That's a good point. I'll unequip my shield. If you go right, um, instead of going left, then you can get the Ring of Binding. Yeah, I, I don't... I feel like I don't really want to explore down towards the, the clearly a boss area, though. You don't need to explore too far around there, because like, you don't even need to go through the door, I, I believe. We'll go down there and get that treasure chest, then. I should yeah, probably actually... maybe think about calling it a night. Yes, definitely. It is getting on a bit. I was looking for a good place to actually stop, but either way, possibly after this life. Yeah. Um, we've done a lot today. We've done very well. I completely jumped out the pursuer. <laughs> it worked. It counted. Hey, we also. You know what? We also killed Dennis. So bloody the world's a better Dennis. place. I've, yeah. I'd already forgotten bloody Dennis. We can save. We can sleep safe in our beds tonight, knowing that bloody Dennis isn't. No one else about. is going to be armored on our watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still what, so a, what a weird name! Why they call him Armor Dennis. Dennis? Fuck Dennis. Agreed. <laughs> Dennis deserves everything he got. In league with the blood. I can't believe I said I'm not scared of turtles anymore. Like a second before that happened. <laughs> Do they like witching urns? They kind of don't care. Witching urns don't seem very good, I'll be honest. Not really. Remember throwing knives are a lot better in this one. Are they? Yeah. At least for the early game. Because I remember them being the opposite of good in the last one. Yeah, they were like a wafting breeze. I mean, a sort of cool wafting breeze, but still a breeze. Yeah. Oh, that... That... Uh... Oh my god. I always appreciate a good Homestuck Runner reference. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you know when we were talking earlier about the 2000s? It's properly back. Yeah. Remember the Norseys. Yeah, that's us. That's you and me. Well, and mm -hmm. me now, actually. I'm afraid Den uh, you may have missed Dennis, Phil. Dennis got his just desserts earlier. It's okay. Why don't subscribe to... What's your YouTube? Is it Hello, it's Dan. Uh, www.youtube.com and then just put Dan in the box that comes up. And then start clicking videos until you find Dan. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll be the one called Dan. Oh. 
I'm just Alright, so there's that sad boy sitting by the treasure chest. Yeah, that's a sad boy I've got to deal with. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit panicked by the big stick boy. Well, just end him. I'm working on it. Drop in. Hey, no, don't be naughty. You're not allowed to get up and hit me that quickly. <laughs> I don't have... Now that I've found the secret of, hey, why don't you use a strong attack and jab them right in their ribs, the swordy ones aren't too scary, but the speary one definitely is, because he has a yeah. bigger pokey than me. Yep, 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 yep. What a large pokey he has. All the better for poking you with. Yeah, and I have found that out. Much to my regret. Nice. Alright, so I want to see what happens if you go through that boss door. I don't... I want to have oh, my souls, to be honest. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Did that... That didn't seem to change my health thing too much, did it? It's given me a little bit back. I kind of feel like using a human effigy every so often might be more effective. That's true, but um, I think it's, it is quite noticeable, personally. Hmm. Let's see if I can. Let's go f see where my old souls are. Yeah. And see if we can um, do anything there. Oh yeah, I've got those. There's souls on the ground. If as well. I if I can collect them, we'll see how much it is. Otherwise, I'll just go through the door and die. Yeah. Oh, they're miles away. They're yeah. The I, um. Sorry. I was gonna say if I go there, I'd wake those two up. So let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so, yeah, the uh, Ring of Binding halves the penalty that you've got, so what would be 50% is instead 75%. I played like a dirtbag instead, however, uh, so what I did was I had a bunch of Rings of Sacrifice, which you can repair in Dark Souls 2. I don't know what the Ring of Sacrifice is. It means that when you die, you don't, uh, hollow, it's just the Ring breaks instead. Oh, and you can repair them? You can, wow. You could repair them, at least. You're right, this is a big man. Oh, it's a fat lad. He's got a big halberd. Yep. This is a good boss for learning iframes, because he's got a big weapon that any telegraphs his moves a lot. Nah, sir, I'm not learning any iframes today. Hey! I dodged one. It's fine. It just, that that immediately strikes me as a very, I know, we go back to it a lot, a very Bloodborne style boss where you just need to get up on him and stay on him. Yeah. Of which there are plenty in Bloodborne. So, we will come back to that later. But now, it's probably time for me to go to bed. Bedtime. It's come. We actually almost started on time this time, so it's been about an hour and ten minutes. That's yes, alright. I know, right? We did such a good job today. Alright, so apparently, my strategy completely does not work in Scrubs the First Sin, which is good because it was a, a strategy for dirtbags like myself. Ah, so they fixed your horrible dirtbag strategy? Yep. Okay. <laughs> But for now, I think we're going to stop. Thank you so much for, for hanging out again, Robin, and thank you everyone else for coming. Always a pleasure being here, Danny. Let's do this again on Wednesday. That's very much the plan. <laughs> oh, oh, Lexi's got some uh, Dennis trivia for us. Oh, oh. Oh, thank you so much for dropping that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> going out on a high note, I think. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a look. That's not the good emote. Is it that one? Have a lovely rest of the evening. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye-bye for now.